guys welcome back to Ricky Wins again. We'll do something a little different. Uh, I actually busted a box today to try to find a PSA 10 version of a Ricky Henderson card that I do not have. Um, it's a 2001 Tops, just the base card or whatever. There's only a population two of those in a PSA 10 so they don't come up for sale very often and I need them. And Baseball Card Exchange had a box of this stuff for like 20 bucks so I've I just bought a box to see what I would get, you know, or whatever. And I'm just going to kind of do a recap of that. I was going to do it, you know, record the break and everything, but I, I just decided not to do that. Um, this is this what I got. I didn't get just a whole lot of stuff, but um, I'll take it any day. Uh, a gold Jose Canseco, number two, 2001. Uh, I think that's actually a, an eBay one of one because 1948 is the number of times that he juiced up, I think. Then I actually did get some, well, let's see. Uh, it's Roger Clemens. I don't know how much he's collected, but this is a pretty solid looking card. It's got all the nice, everything's, everything's solid all the way around on its centering and everything. Um, so I may send that one in. I don't know. I'm going to look at the population reports for it. And then I got an A Rod. And these were, I, I did get a Tony Gwynn as well, but it was very badly centered. So I didn't even add it to my stack to look at to see about possibly getting graded. Uh, and the only reason that I would get these graded is because people might need these for the, uh, like, A-Rod's base top set, basic top set, or their, you know, master top set, or just, you know, they may just want it in general. Uh, but mainly for that basic top set because that's, those are easier to put together and I think more people participate in those. First pack I actually did get a Ricky. It's a gold nugget parallel and it's it's a decent enough card but it's not very uh, the card the corners aren't very solid on it. <clears throat> and then I pulled this guy. Uh, it's the Ricky Henderson that I'm needing in a 10 and it's a great card all around. The centering's I don't know much of a, a lot of glare there. The centering's good on it all the way around. Um, but it does have some small print. I don't know what that is. That little white dot right there, there. You see that? No way you can tell that on here. Focus. 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 Right there. A little white dude right there. I don't know if that's gonna... Uh, I know that PSA will you know, allow a small print defect, and I guess that's what that would be considered. Uh, a few packs later, I actually pulled another of the same card, and it's not quite as well-centered. Still a great card overall, uh, but the same print defect, the same little print spots on the, on the front of the card. It's just a little lower than the other one, actually, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to look at these closer with a magnifying glass and all that stuff and see if I can... Uh, if I, if I think they may be grade, grade worthy and I may send these in and then I got something totally surprising I don't think I don't think in 2001 there were any kind of guaranteed type hits uh, but I did get one I guess what you would call a hit uh, and I've actually sold it already <laughs> I just broke the box last night but it's a uh, Adrian Gonzalez prospect auto so uh, I didn't think anything about it when I got it. I know he's a good player and everything, but I didn't really think about it being worth anything. And I looked on eBay and they had been selling for between 20 and 30 bucks. So I threw it up on eBay with a $25 buy it now and it, it sold within hours. Um, so that pretty much, you know, paid for the box. So got a free box of cards and possibly a PSA 10 Ricky Henderson. I don't know. Um, I got to ship this out tonight actually. Let me set that over there. I also started another side PC back when I first collected years ago. I started this set. Well, not this particular set, but uh, yeah, kind of the set. Uh, back in 2001, Pacific Private Stock. I don't know if any Pacific Private Stock. I don't remember if I don't know if any of you guys remember that set, but they came out with a, a game used version, and that was like they had game used stuff then, but this was like. The first full set that I remember having all game use kind of stuff or whatever, so it was really cool to have. Uh, 
they didn't carry the stuff at my local card shop, but they did carry it at the at the Toys R Us that we had here. They sold them by the box, and you know you get one game used per box, and I always thought that was really really cool. Um, <clears throat> so I'm probably going to do the whole. Uh, I started the whole game used set uh, years ago. I sold them all, but I still got a few left, so I'm probably going to pick that set back up. Just this just the base game used set. Uh, it's like 175 cards or something like that, but it's pretty cool. There's a, there's a few Hall of Famers in there. There's um, uh, Tony Gwynn and Ricky Henderson and, and people like that. Um, but the, the Jersey versions also had a patch version, and that's what, kind of what I'm focusing on right now. I actually had a... I still have... I don't know where I put it. Uh, I actually had a, a Ben Grieve patch from when I collected way back when. I don't know how it ended up surviving my first time that I quit collecting but um, I got this one in the mail today it's a uh, Raphael Palmero that's the what the patches look like it's not not a lot of patch I know a lot of people are all about patches and everything now but I just kind of and I'm really not usually like that but I, I, I remember this set from whenever I collected before and that's kind of more more so for the sentimental value and then a uh, Louis Castillo got that one in today and if you want to give me just a second I still, yeah, there it is. There's the, the Ben Grieve version of it, and I've got a Kevin Brown on the way too that I that I got. Uh, so yeah, I've got four. There's only there's like seventy in the set or something like that. So I'm just now getting started. Uh, people are asking some ridiculous prices for some of these on there, and I'm. I'm you know, offering them what I think is fair value, and they're not budging on their $80 per card kind of thing, and this stuff is just not worth that, I don't think, uh, regardless of the player. Uh, there were some short prints in the set, though, so. Uh, but anyway, if, if any of you guys happen to have any of these, even if it's just the base game use stuff, I would really, you know, I'd, I'll take it off your hands, I'll trade for it or something like that. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. I still don't have any update on the... April submission, uh, they haven't updated my account at all. They haven't, our February submission has not popped. And let's see, make sure they haven't done it since I left work today. No, it's still, my order is still being processed. And they haven't, the other ones haven't popped yet either. So, or the, the April submission hasn't shown up on my account yet either. So anyway, hope everybody's having a good week. I know I've been really busy at work and uh, looking forward to this weekend and Mother's Day and all that good stuff. But anyway, till then, hope you guys take care and be good.